He forces them off of Ike. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. I don't but know how Ike does in this, but I feel like it's okay. He just did a he just did a flex wave land on that platform. <laughs> it's not that useful, but it's kind of cool to look at. <laughs> it's mainly because like you can technically do wave dashes and quote unquote w uh, wave lands and wave dashes. Only thing is, since directional air dodges have a lot of recovery frames on them, you're not gonna be able to do much off of them. I think using C stick with Ike is probably pretty good for those aerials, because mm. you gotta be really precise with your spacing when you do an aerial like a nair or mm. throw. Yeah, I well. know I whiff it a lot. That was weird. He didn't continue his jab. Yeah. Probably didn't expect the hits to connect. Whoa. Oh, I would have gone for a dash attack. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't think it would have connected. Mm -hmm. He is moving all. He is moving. He's walking back and forth like a melee player. <laughs> oh, he gets slaps. Uh, right. <laughs> Greninja definitely is very slippery. No, okay. Let's see. I think mm. I think in definitely in this matchup, uh, Greninja's going to be going for... Not only can he edge guard a lot better than Ike, but he can also ledge trap a lot better, too. Yeah, but I, Ike I, hits him pretty hard. <laughs> Greninja's like a midway, right? Something like that, yeah. I think I think he's a fast faller, or Ooh. somewhat of a fast faller. Oh. Do something stupid. Come on. He's in a zone. Uh, if he did an up air there, that probably would have killed. Well, oh, that grab, like grab connected. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, no, he's, he's very good at using those backers and edge guard. Oh, okay. that was really close, too. Yeah. I was wondering about countering, but no, his counter's too slow. Yeah, Greninja's, I don't think he'll be able to punish. Get yeah. those little paper shurikens out of here. <laughs> <laughs> little paper airplanes. <laughs> it's like those there little ninja stars, you, those little shurikens you make during class when you're bored in the third grade. I used to love making those. And then you throw them and your teacher gets mad at you, and she puts your name on the behaviors chart onto red. <laughs> <laughs> He has an entire drawer full of those shurikens. Yeah. Ooh, he's, I just, Ultima I like is how, really good though, with those jab lock setups. Yeah, I like how he basically whipped a bunch of stuff and then was like, oh wait, he, he didn't tech that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wasn't ready to punish it, but it doesn't matter. He took a really long time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. give me that much time. And now they're even again. That's all she wrote. Now he just needs to get a raw forward smash from reading a, a full hop and empty hop, and then he'll be good. He's not going to do that because why would you ever forward smash his like? But. Oh, wow. you Shadow Sneak. That's the first Shadow once. Sneak I've seen all stream. <laughs> Might not be the first Shadow Sneak that happened, though. Down throw? I don't know about that. I don't think he gets many steps up a down throw. Yeah, at this percent, if anything. Would that have killed? I don't think that would have killed. No. Uh, especially on Ike. Maybe if it was a lightweight. My boy's a heavy. Uh, I know what he's trying to do with the light edge guards. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about down. I think down throw is cool if you know how to mix them up, but I think, especially with Ike's recovery, put him... Put him off, off stage. Hydro Pump is really good uh, uh, against uh, Side B. It's funny that that's Hydro <coughs> Pump. Yeah. The move that has like 120 base power. <laughs> oh, there we go. He caught him. Greninja cannot be hit by those well, up what, what if when, since Greninja, he, when he splats on the screen, what if saliva from his tongue just kind of stayed on the screen when he slid down? <laughs> it's kind of temporary for like 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Some sort of quality of life thing. You see that graphical glitch that's been happening from time to time? What? What? The Super Arcade logo just becomes really big for a second. Oh, uh, that's probably an OBS thing. <laughs> it's weird. Hope it doesn't show up on the actual stream. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, though. <laughs> Back to this match. <coughs> oh, oh, did he just tech that? Yeah, he was probably planning on attacking the floor, but the game doesn't like him. Yeah, I guess the, the game still treated him as hit stun since he was still getting dragged through the upper hits. If you saw, Mexican whiffed a nair because Grinning is really short. Which is one of the problems with this matchup for Ike is that Greninja can slip under a lot of his stuff. Like that would have hit a normal character, mm. but Greninja's too short. It's quite slippery. Because <coughs> he's a freaking frog. <laughs> oh, get grab get punish. Get him, get him. <laughs> get him. Ooh, drag down. Oof. I notice he doesn't, he's not really been too good on ch uh, tech chasing on the platforms. You see that terrible grab range. <gasps> oh. Okay. Did you get the weak hit? Yeah. I didn't even realize there was a weak hit. Same. Okay. Oh, double oh, K. Oh, I think that was bad. He was DIing in. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, you don't know how to react to a move like that. Why, why would you go for another up smashes? Ike, what's happening? <laughs> he got audacious. I, I think overall he was definitely doing really well in that neutral. Yeah, that last second audacity is going to do him some favors. Yeah. Losers finals. Let's see. He's up a game. We'll, we'll, we'll see who gets to go and fight Rival. I'm pretty sure both these people fought Rival in the winner's bracket. I don't have work Friday. Yeah, hot, 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 hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> don't want to live another day if I'm going to be away from my best friend, Matei. Oh, Aww. thank you. 
out. Now he's poking me. You guys can't see it, but he's assaulting me. I assaulted him because he deserves to suffer. Oh. What? Why was that an aw? <laughs> I, as like a, as I'm sad, aw. yeah. Oh. I'm not gonna say, "Oh, that's adorable." You must really oh, he care about me if he wants me to suffer. <laughs> he did the weird tag on the side of the stage again. Oh, that's so he's not really getting Double any jump. damage. In. Okay. Whoa, that was he was probably trying to get him doing that. Yeah. High thing. I I noticed he hasn't really been doing much edge guarding with uh, Ike. I don't know if that's just because he hasn't been putting him off ledges that much, or I think whenever he's gone for the edge guard, it's just been the back air. But he's it wasn't working, so he probably thought, "Yeah, I probably can't do much against Ike." Yeah, which I is mean, a weird thing to think if that is what he's thinking. Yeah, I mean, like, Greninja does have a lot of options, so he doesn't even take that time to kind of reconsider what he has. He's going to do Hydro Pump. He can Ooh. do he can do Forward Air. Whoa! Like, you... Did he just fast fall there, or did there just way too many recovery frames on that? I think it was both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's insane. Mm -hmm. That was no way for any stock to go. Yeah. Both of them could have survived. <laughs> None of that needed to happen. <laughs> This is the only game where you can kill yourself in the middle of a match for no reason. <laughs> Imagine if stuff like that happened in, other, in like actual fighting games. I think people would not stand for it, and those games would die. <laughs> but this is a different franchise. It's a different. I think there's a reason why you can do that in Smash. It's because it's like a platformer. Yeah. I don't think it needs to exist. <laughs> and I would probably work around that if a, if I designed a platform fighter. I'd probably do something like you know that one game we play does, but. <laughs> I don't know how I feel entirely about it. Mm. All I know is I was talking to one of my friends earlier today, Jonathan, mm. about how bad Smash clones are because all they do is copy Smash. Mm. Yeah. Like, of course, there, there are some exceptions, like uh, some of the ones that are really trying to innovate, like Rivals of Ether. Yeah, kind of. Rivals, Rivals of Ether is good. Rivals of Ether is good because it is able to do... It has a little <coughs> bit of its own identity, even though a lot of it takes from Smash, like wave dashing and a lot of the character animations mm. are inspired by Smash, but it's not... The characters don't just straight up copy Smash character playstyle yeah, archetypes. Yeah, there's right. some. Oh, double nerd up here. That was good. <laughs> Which is one thing that Rivals does well. It also plays differently enough from both Melee and Smash 4 to have its own sense of identity. Mm -hmm. Even though I do think it could have stood to do a little bit more to distinguish itself, it did a good job, especially by removing things like shielding and parrying, arming ledges mm -hmm. to speed up the pace of the game. Although, personally, I don't think those things needed to be removed. I'm not complaining that they are not in the game. Mm -hmm. Because it does good on its own. Speaking of doing good, he, the ulti is doing pretty well. Yeah, he the offense. Right yeah, now. he had a lead, but uh, Mexican really is starting to bring it back. Yeah, it's still pretty even though because they're yeah. both in like good percentages. Yeah, I noticed uh, Mexican is doing a lot better at catching uh, ulti bombers landings. I, I I feel I feel like the Ooh. this matchup is like ulti bombers doing really well with the combos, but Ike just catches the landings so well. I haven't played Brawlhalla, but from my personal perspective, I don't think it looks very good. I mean, I'm talking mostly visually, but the gameplay doesn't look like it's very satisfying to me either. I definitely should play it to better structure my opinion, but from what I've seen, it doesn't really look that, like that good of a game. It is free to play. I will give it the credit that it does look like it's different enough from Smash, despite being a platform fighter. But what I want from a platform fighter is to not have to do everything that you get from Smash. Like yeah, it's like, why, why, like and why would I play this game? Like, there has to be an answer for the, to saying, like, why would I play this game when I can play Smash? Yeah, it's like, if you think of every single Smash clone as an employee, why would you ever choose the employee who's copying your best employee? Oh, okay. it could have... That kind of could have been way, punished a lot better. Ooh, was that a forward tilt? That was a forward tilt. Okay, good job. And he's up 2-0. Well, unless the ultimate moment is going to have to make the... Reverse 3 if he wants to get his run back up against uh, Rival. So much faster. Oh, boy. I guess I will play Rahal. We can both just get it and play. Yeah. <coughs> we should do that. I already have it. I just haven't touched it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. <laughs> the animations are really bad. I still haven't bought Shovel Knight on uh, Rival of Ether yet. I should do that. Oh, he's out, right? It's yeah, been it's a while. It's been he's a while. He's probably been out for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind playing against him or playing as him. I mean, he's not in Smash, so I need to get my fix of Shovel Knight in a fighting game somewhere. I want to buy all the characters and rivals, but I don't play the game at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going to buy Shovel Knight. <coughs> Ooh, this oh. guy. I didn't know you can come up up throw. I'm not sure if that was true, though. Maybe just because I DI'd in on up throw? I'm not sure. Yeah, but then you got games like Slap City and Brawl Out and Icon's Combat Arena. I, I ask myself, why would I choose these games over Smash when mechanically they're not much different, they don't look as good, they don't have as much content. Why would I choose these games over Smash, especially when all they're doing is copying Smash? Right? If you're gonna if you're gonna hire someone 
You're not going to hire the guy who's a worse version of an employee that you already have. You're going to hire someone who has something to offer that you actually need. Like I don't having, need another like having shovel knight in your game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't need another employee who can do what this one employee already does. I'm already paying a guy to get this done. So what what can you offer me that I can't get from my other employee? Right? What can you add to the 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 community, the team? Uh, also, Ultimomer is really letting Mexican get uh, get back on the ledge. It's, it's not like he's letting him do it for free because he's definitely trying to ledge guard him, but he's picking all the wrong options. This is still surprisingly pretty even, which is good. Yeah, I feel like Ulti Bomber definitely has a definitely more consistent neutral. It's just when he has the advantage, he's not very good at keeping the momentum. Like when he gets him off stage, he's having trouble edge guarding him, and he's on the ledge, he's having trouble ledge trapping him too. Did you see that when he just kind of stood there after the shadow sneak? Yeah. <laughs> I think he probably pressed the button, but it didn't get red because yeah. of the show drop. He probably pushed it while the shadow sneak was going on, and okay. it wasn't in the buffer time. That's supposed to be a DI mix up. Oh my goodness. They were so close to each other. <laughs> they kind of had to reset things after that. Yeah. Bad call. Up throw. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure up throw will kill at this point, right? Maybe? Uh, I don't know much about Grinja. He, he didn't send a Maybe. There we go. Now it there we go. Get that boy out of here. All right. Time for the next stop. <laughs> All right, jump so he can up air you. Do it. This I dare you. Okay. Uh, Back air. Mexican has won two games by now, right? Hmm? Mexican, yes. yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, Mexican needs one more score. It's, he's, he's up to run. Okay. And uh, there we go. The score has been fixed. Oh, ugh. He's dropping a lot of these uh, drag down setups. I don't know if it's just that those are really hard to get or if he's just like in his timing them. Ooh. He could have just hydro pumped him. He's not do he needs to do that more. Yeah. Well, Morgan, it's not like it matters Morgan. that much now. Yeah. <laughs> and Ike without a jump is like... Really bad, just unusable recovery. Oh, it actually worked. What Ooh. is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. That wouldn't have killed. He needs to stop going for these down throw setups. It definitely doesn't look like there's much he can do off it. It looks like he, I think he know. I mean, he also knows that he, he can't get anything that guarantees off it. So he's trying to mix up, like like mix up what he does out of it, but he's not getting anything out of it. Took away his jump. Ooh, that was good. Yeah. I would not have done that personally, but it worked. It worked. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because I, I, I think Ulti Bomber is, like, really underestimating how many options he has uh, with Ike off stage. Because every time he gets Ike off stage, he just can't capitalize off of it. That's what's probably hurting him right now. Because he definitely has a... S he's definitely winning the, the neutral um, a bit more consistently than Mexican is. But he just can't capitalize off of the good exchanges he gets. I really should play Brawlhalla so I can get a good opinion on it. Okay, well, things are even again. Yeah. I think... That's something that's definitely been holding Ulti back because he's not being yeah. as aggressive. Yeah, as like, be like, like, see, like every time he's been on the ledge, uh, Mexicans Ooh, be able to get and back that's off. Cost him too because yeah, it's like it's not like he's getting.